Hello fellow YouTube users and welcome to another video about uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses. Now, if you guys have seen my other uh, videos, uh, those are my, uh, my personal collection. Now what we're going to take a look at is, uh, well technically, well, uh, these sunglasses are not mine. These are actually my sister's. Um, actually, my other sister actually bought these uh, for her about a about a year ago. So um, my sister, uh, uh, she knows that I'm doing these videos of my sunglasses collection. But uh, she said, um, "Hey, why don't you guys try, um, or why don't you try to, um, you know, film uh, some of the collection, even though it's not yours?" So I said, "Okay." So here we are, uh, just taking a look at this. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Ray-Ban Clubmasters. Of course, um, you know that these sunglasses are available um, everywhere from, you know, the makers um, Luxottica. Uh, but of course, these came out uh, quite before Luxottica, uh, before they made them. So. Uh, Luxottica may make these now, but of course the original started with the Bosch and Long. And as you can tell, uh, there could be uh, some differences between this and the Luxottica brand. And I think the most obvious is that um, if you look closely at the at the Ray Ban logo, it's a little blurry. The Ray Ban logo itself. Uh, you, usually the newer Clubmasters have it, um, they have it white, but this one, it's all in the color um, yellow. Well, not exactly gold, but yellow. And so, there are different variations of the Clubmasters, so at least nowadays. There's a Clubmaster 1 and there's a Clubmaster 2. Clubmaster 2's uh, ba basically it's a bit lo larger, uh, kind of uh, reminiscent of the uh, Ray Band Wayfarers. There's a one and a two. Just the second, um, the second version is they tend to be more bigger. And these, uh, I would say it's about the same as the Luxottica brand, but the difference is that uh, well, it's constructed more better and the parts they use are of better quality and so we take a look at the nose pads uh, it says B and L on both and can't really see them here but uh, there's also B and L on both lenses and they feel more uh, more sturdier, they, they feel more tougher than the ones that Luxottica makes nowadays. And so, I'm sure, I can't really read it. I don't know, the camera gets too blurry for it. But the, the number is W0365VOAS. And here it says Bosch and Long Ray Ban USA. Obviously, it says nothing here. And if we look closely, I don't think the newer Luxoticas have this, but in this part right over here, it has the uh, says BNL Ray Ban USA. And as you can tell from my talking, uh, there's not really much to talk about this. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, uh, all the Clubmasters, uh, they're made by Luxotica. And they're basically the same, but of course the difference that the ones made here in the States are of better quality. Now, these, this particular uh, pair, um, if you're interested in buying a, a vintage a Clubmasters, oh, which by the way, uh, the, the Clubmasters were introduced in 1986, so it's not like these have been, you know, s since the beginning of Ray-Ban. Uh, these were created around the 80s and not sure if many of you out there are old enough to know or remember but 
uh, Jack Nicholson actually used to wear these uh, quite a lot. Uh, I think when they when they first released uh, this uh, the, the the Clubmaster first uh, back in the day, and I remember him wearing those uh, sunglasses whenever he went to the to the Laker games uh, from a while back when the Lakers played at the Great Western Forum, or I guess now it's known as the Forum. Anything? So yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, I like them very much. Um, I actually did own a pair, a pair of this, but I decided to give it to my cousin because um, even though they they are very cool looking, I just I just put it on my face and I was just saying to myself, nah. So for some reason, my face does not look that great uh, on these sunglasses. They're more for females, but some guys they have you know better faces. They can. They, they they can go with this particular style on their faces. Me, I tried. It just just doesn't work. I tried many times, but it just doesn't work. And of course, these lenses they use the G15 lenses, which of course um, it's the standard for all Ray-Ban uh, sunglasses. And not much to do. don't have the case for it uh, actually my sister um, has the case for it it's not really I really don't know how, how the original cases are for the club masters I've seen them around on eBay but don't know if it's the original or not um, just have the Luxottica ones um, but if you really really want to get a, a pair of uh, Ray-Ban club masters um, vintage I suggest you go to eBay now, I know my other videos I mentioned, go eBay this, go eBay that, but, uh, I mean, if you can find it on another site, I say go for it. But eBay, um, I think, is the place where you will find multiple uh, vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses, especially the Clubmasters. But be warned that uh, even even though there's a lot of Clubmasters not nowadays available, uh, the vintage Ray-Ban Clubmasters, they tend to go for quite a lot of money and I, I would say it would cost maybe around at least maybe starting bid maybe twenty thirty dollars or sometimes if you want to buy it now it would maybe cost you between a hundred to two hundred uh, just depends then there are also uh, different var uh, variations of the Clubmaster um, there's one in which uh, the the frame here is not black, but it's a tortoise. And there's also a really rare club master in which the 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 frame itself and, and the lenses they're more of an of an oval uh, shape, and those tend to go for quite a lot more. And I've seen some that the lenses are they used to be 20 lenses. In other words, they're more of an amber colored lens, brown. And, and a really extremely rare one I've seen is they have a blue mirror, which um, I only found one time on eBay and it went for a hell of a lot of money. So, like I said before in my other videos, if you guys have the money for it, you know, to blow cash on, you know, vintage uh, sunglasses, especially if you want this Clubmaster, um, I suggest go to eBay or wherever you can find it, maybe at an estate sale you can find you know people who have vintage Ray-Ban pairs so yeah I mean that's that's pretty much it there's not much to talk about just that this is a pretty cool pair of um, Ray-Bans uh, not, not much info on it so yeah that's pretty much it well, even though this is not mine, it's my sister's, so if my sister's watching this, I'd like to thank her for letting me, for letting, or for her letting me borrow it so I can show it to you guys to see uh, what a, um, the vintage pair looks like. And I really like it because I know some of the other pairs I've seen, they go for, there's probably a white one here, and it says, uh, Sometimes it says Ray-Ban here, but you'll know that it's the real deal vintage, especially the Ray-Ban logo here. It's not white. It's uh, color gold. So yeah, so anyway, um, thank you for um, watching my video. Um, if you guys want to share, um, you know, if you want to comment, 
have any questions uh, feel free to put them on the comment section below and um, once again uh, thanks a lot guys for watching my video and um, hope to bring you on uh, another video uh, from my collection this time thanks